hey guys hope you're all good and by good i mean safe and healthy because honestly april 2024 has been one of the worst months in my opinion and i've seen so many bad situations this month not just occurring with me but with so many others so if april has been an awful month then i hope you're all pushing through and staying strong i hope that may will be much better now maybe it's just me maybe i thought april was bad and if you want to argue against that don't because arguing is for the weak but still i would like to hear about how your april went in the comment section just so i can validate the thought that april was an absolute nightmare anyways nietzsche's philosophy contains a lot of ideas that challenge conventional beliefs and norms and one of his ideas is known as the concept of the will to power which supports his critique of arguing as an activity for weak individuals and nietzsche's perspective on arguing comes from his broader critique of morality particularly the notion of the slave morality and the master morality and slave morality to make it easy to understand and in the most simplest sense is like a person who is not as strong and confident and instead of dominating the game they focus on being nice kind and fair to everyone they think winning is not important they think being compassionate and treating everyone equally is more important so when slaves lose they feel upset because they think it reflects on their own worth as a person but with master morality we can imagine a more confident strong person and they believe winning is about showing their strength and dominance so they set the rules and judge themselves and others based on their standards of success so if they win they feel proud of their strength and if they lose they might not care as much because they believe in their own worth regardless of the outcomes so to nietzsche arguing is often seen as an attempt rooted in weakness because it reflects a reliance on rational discourse rather than a manifestation of strength and power and in his work beyond good and evil Nietzsche critiques the pursuit of truth through argumentation suggesting that it is often a mask for deeper psychological drives and he says arguments are needed only when the debaters have no convictions or when they lack the strength to hold them here Nietzsche implies that those who engage in arguing are either lacking in conviction or strength and arguing becomes a tool for those who are unable to assert their beliefs through personal conviction or force of character and in nietzsche's eyes true strength lies not in the ability to argue persuasively but in the ability to assert one's will and impose one's value on the world so nietzsche further elaborates on this idea in his concept of the will to power for nietzsche human existence is fundamentally driven by the desire to exert power and dominate one's environment and in this context arguing is seen as a futile attempt to persuade others through reason rather than through the assertion of one's own will and nietzsche writes the desire to overpower another person and make him suffer is humanity's oldest deepest instinct so here nietzsche suggests that the desire to overpower others is a fundamental aspect of human nature arguing with its emphasis on rational discourse and persuasion is seen as a feeble attempt to exert power compared to more direct and forceful methods moreover nietzsche criticizes the notion of objective truth that 
underpins much of Western philosophy and science. He argues that truth is often a construct created by those in power to maintain their dominance over others. And in this context, arguing becomes a tool for per perpetuating the illusions of truth and morality created by those in power. Morality is the herd instinct in the individual. That's what Nietzsche says. Nietzsche suggests that morality, including the impulse to argue, is a product of social conditioning rather than a reflection of objective truth and arguing therefore is not a pursuit of genuine understanding but a means of enforcing social norms and values. So Nietzsche's critique of arguing as an activity for weak individuals is rooted in his broader philosophy of the will to power and the critique of morality. Arguing is seen as a manifestation of weakness because it reflects a reliance on rational discourse rather than the assertion of one's will. Instead, Nietzsche advocates for the embrace of strength and power as fundamental aspects of human existence. So, once again, and I'll make it super duper simple just in case you did not get what I said at first and I will try to explain it as if you have zero experience in philosophy. So look, imagine Nietzsche is like a really deep thinker who likes to challenge what everyone else thinks. So he talks about this thing called the will to power, which means people always want to be in control and be strong. Now, when people argue, he thinks it's often because they can't just be strong and assert themselves. They have to rely on words and logic instead of just being powerful. Nietzsche also talks about two kinds of morality, the master morality and the slave morality. And master morality is all about being strong, setting your own rules, while slave morality is more about being nice and fair to everyone, even if it means you might not win. So. When Nietzsche says arguing is for weak people, he means that strong people don't need to argue because they can just impose their will on others. Arguing to him is a sign that someone isn't strong enough to just assert themselves without relying on words. He also thinks that truth and morality are often just things created by powerful people to control others, so arguing about them doesn't really get to the real point. And that, my friends, is why arguing is for the weak, according to Nietzsche. See you guys soon. I am the absolute worst at ending videos. It feels like an awkward handshake right now, but I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you so much.